Welcome to today's vlog. As always, I'm so grateful whenever you take uh, just a few minutes to listen and to tune in. So welcome. If you watched uh, my last vlog, you may remember that I talked a little bit about Her Majesty the Queen, Queen Elizabeth II, and the fact that it was uh, a jubilee weekend celebrating 70 years of Her Majesty's reign. Uh, what an amazing achievement. She's been on the throne longer than I've been alive. And I guess probably uh, longer than uh, some of you watching this uh, vlog. And I showed you last time a little booklet that had been specially prepared to mark the uh, Jubilee. There's a booklet about which talks a little bit about her life, but also her deep and abiding Christian faith. And that reminded me of uh, another booklet that I, I have in my uh, study. And it's this one called The Servant Queen and the King She uh, Serves. This was produced to mark uh, the occasion of Her Majesty's 90th birthday. And it's significant that it's called The Servant Queen because although many people would say that the queen lives a privileged life and of course in, in some ways that's true she's also a monarch who has pledged herself to serve and i want to again read a little bit uh, from her own words from the christmas broadcast of 2008 she said this i hope that like me you will be comforted by the example of Jesus of Nazareth, who, often in circumstances of great adversity, managed to live an outgoing, unselfish and sacrificial life. He makes it clear that genuine human happiness and satisfaction lie more in giving than in receiving, more in serving than in being served. We can surely be grateful that 2,000 years after the birth of Jesus, so many of us are able to draw inspiration from his life and message and to find in him a source of strength and courage. So the Queen has pledged herself to serve uh, her nation, her people, and to serve God himself. And uh, she points out quite rightly that in doing so, in becoming one who serves, she's following very much in the footsteps of Jesus. Jesus, son of God, came among us, lived on planet earth, but he said he's not come as a king to take to himself great glory, but he says, I come among you as one who serves. I come not to be served, but to serve and give my life as a ransom for many. Uh, there's a, a great song that was written some years ago called The Servant King. This is our God, the Servant King. He calls us now to follow him. We see that servanthood in the life of Jesus, how he uh, ministered uh, healing and grace and uh, welcome to all sorts of people, people who society had written off, yet Jesus served. And perhaps one of the great examples is when he washed the disciples' feet, the, uh, the job of the most menial of the servants in that day. You know, Jesus knelt down and washed the disciples' feet. He came to serve, and he calls us who follow him to serve too. There's one occasion in the Gospels where the, the disciples didn't, hadn't quite grasped clearly what Jesus had said and uh, they were arguing amongst themselves which one was the greatest. And Jesus calls them apart and he says to them, look, just understand this, the greatest among you will be your servant. So greatness in the kingdom of God is in servanthood. And that is so countercultural to how our society is today. People scrambling to get to the top of the pile. 
I remember a friend of mine who's uh, an Anglican uh, vicar telling me some years ago now that uh, when he looks for people who he feels might be uh, those who uh, who could be leaders within the church or if somebody comes to him and says I think God's calling me to be a leader in some way he looks for those who uh, for example at the end of a meeting will help to take clear the chairs away to tidy the room to sweep the floor someone who is willing to be a servant could maybe become someone who leads for a leader in God's eyes has to be one who serves and I wonder if uh, well I don't wonder I know that if we as the people of God and if we as a nation could learn the art of servanthood what a transformation that would make and that's a challenge for us all because naturally I guess many of us want to be in the place of honour the place to be noticed but we're called to be servants to give our life for others so God bless you thank you so much for listening today